What's up guys, I'm BTC. We got more information from Blizzard about Overwatch 2, including map and enemy design, as well as some possible hints and screenshots behind the scenes. To start out, in case you didn't know, Overwatch, there are over 2.7 million lines of code. And Overwatch uses something called TED, which is the game's editor. It allows artists and engineers to create levels, script events, modify cooldowns, and pretty much everything else. Here's the first screenshot that they gave us showing how they captured some of the imagery for Mercy. You can see the inside of the center, there are several light bulb objects which represent sources of light. The camera is where the image will be taken from and you can see what that looks like on the right hand side. Funny enough, the large expansive cityscape background that you see behind Mercy is actually just that small image that's been moved up close to the character. Looking around the image, you can see some of the other customizable settings like color, lighting, and fog. But the most interesting thing is what the file is called. If you look on the top left, you can see that the map is the lobby for Rio, but it appears that the map itself is called Calypso. This could possibly be the PVP version of the map, or just one of the sections of the overall Rio mission in the PVE campaign. A second image shows how the lighting effects are done. Each new light needs to generate shadows and other functions and can really get resource intensive. This is one of the reasons why we haven't gotten a map that takes place in a forest. Originally, Eichenwald was supposed to start further down the mountain and the players would move through the forest, but the demands on the lighting and the resource system was simply too high. The thing I found most interesting was when they started talking about the enemies in Overwatch 2. They said that Overwatch 2's PvE maps are larger and more complex than the Overwatch maps like Retribution and Storm Rising. That doesn't just mean more distance, but also longer missions involving more kinds of foes and more elaborate encounters. Adding enemy types leads to complex ability interactions between enemies and heroes, but also between the enemies themselves, like short range and long range units that coordinate their attacks. Now, as much as I like story missions that we get from the archive events, they are quite simple. Even on the most difficult settings, it's really just a matter of the enemies having more health and more damage. They don't coordinate in any meaningful way, and once you figure out the tricks, it becomes kind of easy to just deal with them. There is some variety in the enemies, but again, it's pretty limited. Because Overwatch 2 is focusing primarily as a PvE game, yes, there's still going to be PvP attached, but most of it is PvE, there will, of course, be significantly more expansion into different types of enemies, and it's good news that they're going to be making these different types of enemies actually interact with each other. It seems very likely that Overwatch 2 and the Archive missions were heavily inspired by the Left 4 Dead series of games which I really enjoyed, particularly the versus mode. And while playing through the campaign is fun, computer controlled enemies get predictable even on the hardest settings. And in case you never played it, the versus mode in Left 4 Dead would be like playing the archive missions in Overwatch, but there would also be four players on the enemy team as well. Those enemy players would randomly get to control special units like the sniper or the heavy assault, and their job is to stop you from reaching the end. Then after you make it all the way or the team gets completely taken out, both teams would switch sides and it would be the other team's turn to try to make it through. It's kind of like a payload map in that way. The team that makes it the farthest would win. Now, I'm not sure if Blizzard would ever add a versus mode to Overwatch 2, but I definitely think it would be a very good idea. I would enjoy it quite a bit. What would you guys think about that? Would you like to have a versus mode in Overwatch 2 in addition to the campaign? Let me know down below. Also, if you want to learn more about the development process for Overwatch 2, I'll put a link to that entire article from the developers down below. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to be comment of the video, then leave yours, and while you're at it, ring the bell so you never miss a new video. Also, if you want to get some cool gear, join my Discord server, or follow me on social media, then check out the links down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller, because it's never your fault.